Storage Tank Erection Procedure Part 3 Erection of CS Dome, Cone Roof Plates and Structures After completion of the top two shell courses erection, curb angling fit up, and welding shall be done. Erect the fabricated center drum, roof rafters, and cross girders as per the drawing. Complete the welding of roof structure by approved welders and as per approved WPS. Erect and lay the roof plates, on the structure, as per the drawing. While the fit up of the short seams and the long seams, lat to be maintained as per the drawing. Weld the short seams by welding alternative joints or sequence, mentioned in the drawing, to prevent the distortion. Provide proper supports, lengthwise of the long seam, and weld the joints as per the sequence given in the drawing. Roof nozzles and top shell nozzles, fit up and welding, shall be carried out, as per the approved drawings and, subsequently it has to be correlated, with the concerned piping drawing. Erection of floating roof, single deck. The temporary staging shall be provided for deck plate laying, till the maintenance level of the tank, except 3 meter from tank shell inside since there will be hydraulic jacks and accessories all around the tank. All bottom deck plates for annular pantoon, shall be laid according to the layout drawing. After completing the deck plates laying, all short and long seams fit up and welding shall be completed. Single deck floating roof. Erect the pontoon stiffeners and, complete the welding for the bulkhead plates. Erect the middle rim and, complete the welding of the inner rim plates. After the completion of the welding in all respect, the openings for support sleeves, roof manholes and sumps, shall be marked, and opened by cutting after orientations checking. Complete the vacuum test for the floating roof top deck plates. The welding of the support sleeves and RF pad should be completed before the initial lifting. The overhead welding of top deck plates with deck compartment plates shall be completed. The roof nozzles roof drain assembly and accessories shall be erected after initial lifting. The rolling ladder shall be fabricated and erected as per the drawing. The shell course closure shall be erected and both the vertical seam welding shall be completed first before tracking and welding the horizontal seams. After the completion of both the vertical and horizontal seams, bottom to annular welding and annular to sketch welding shall be completed. Before the erection of the tank closure plate, it shall be ensured that all the unwanted materials are removed and the bottom plate is cleaned thoroughly. NDT for the horizontal and the shell to annular plate welding in the area of closure shall be completed. Temporary stiffening attachments shall be removed and necessary NDT shall be carried out for all temporary attachments and also vacuum box test in the balance area near the opening shall also be carried out. Erection of the Aluminum Dome Roof Unload the dome roof materials near the assembly site. Select a flat area to assemble the dome roof. Distribute the struts and the gussets in the assembly area ahead of the crew, to allow the uninterrupted frame assembly. Assemble the dome frames and the attached panels, the lifting works shall be done by hydraulic crane or, by hoist, after completion of the dome roof assembling works. <laughs>